Okay, so today I want to talk about the similarity between two movies. Um, they are Home Alone 2 and Rise of Skywalker. You wouldn't think those two movies would be similar, but they actually are. So in Home Alone 2, you have um, the main character, Kevin, who gets lost from his family in New York. And his family is kind of mean to him, granted, but he knew he shouldn't be doing what he was doing. So he kind of had to realize that his family is actually important to him um, before he had that um, realization. So he had to go in New York for a little while before he knew, you know, he really wanted his family. So, in The Rise of Skywalker, you have Kylo Ren, who's struggling the whole time, um, with being pulled Light toward the, the light, dark, which or being you pulled toward, toward the dark, um, but he actually remembers his family. Um, his mom connects with him, using the Force, while he's fighting, um, Ray on the bridge, and it's kind of cool. And he remembers he has a family and a mom, and that's what makes his decision to go towards the light. Um, it's kind of like Kevin, because they both realize they have families and moms, and it's all good in the end. Um, also... So um, what you gonna say, what you gonna say? So, Kevin has a brother named Buzz, and Buzz just wants attention. He will do anything to cause attention to be on him. So they're singing in a musical, and um... What happens is Buzz messes with Kevin, and Kevin causes the whole musical set to fall down because he gets mad at Kevin. He's mad at Kevin. And so Buzz is just trying to seek attention, but in the end, when he realizes his brother is lost, he realizes he actually loves his brother, and they get along. So there's a character in um, the uh, 7 through 9 saga um, called Hux, and he is, um, I would say Kylo Ren's, like, sidekick, um, and they don't get along, there's a power struggle happening, because Hux just wants attention, just wants to rule the empire, and he's like, come on dude, why aren't you getting me to command here? Um, but Hux actually makes a turnaround, and he actually is the spy, for the resistance, so if you actually they know, have spies you know, now, like something that's worth liking. So, I mean, both are kind of similar because they make a turn around and realize that family is uh, more important. Um, also, Ray has a um, identity crisis moment. She um, lands on this planet and she realizes that she's trying to find, so they have. Um, this layout that they find in their pocket knife of this planet. So she goes into this cave and she meets her, um, meets her evil self and she has to fight her evil self to find out why she really wants to go to the planet. Um, this is kind of like Kevin when he gets lost in New York. He finds this, um, older woman who teaches him how to, like, love his family and, like, family is important. So, um, they both, uh, find out what their identity truly is. Family will win your battle within. Lost. Um, so, anyway, the Rise of Skywalker starts out as the dead speak. And, you know, like, um, with the whole Star Wars thing, like, with the light side, Jedi come back as ghosts and talk to the people? Well, this doesn't really happen yeah, anymore. Yeah, I'm following. Too, okay. But there are these um, robbers that try to rob Kevin's house, and they come back in Home Alone 2. Um, but the deal is, uh, Kevin, he tries to um, stop the robbers, but he throws a brick at one of the robbers' heads, and that should kill him kill the robbers but it doesn't and he does all these things where the robbers could easily die but they can't Game over. so 
That being said, that both works. The dead speak. Um, so I would, um, if you ever watch these movies, I would recommend watching, um, Home Alone 2 and then The Rise of Skywalker. And that, I think that flow would work best because they're very similar movies and, um, they have good themes in them.